Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah on the break. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa today received a written letter from the Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al Sisi on Bahraini Egyptian relations as well as the latest regional and global developments and issues of common interest. His Majesty the King was handed the message by the Egyptian Foreign Affairs Minister Samah Shukri, whom His Majesty received at the Safriya Palace. Shukri conveyed to His Majesty the greetings and appreciation from President al Sisi as well as his wishes of further progress and prosperity to Bahrain. His Majesty the King welcomed the Egyptian Foreign Minister and asked him to convey his greetings to the president in addition to wishes of continuous progress for Egypt. His Majesty expressed his pride in the bilateral ties on all levels, noting that such visits bolster joint cooperation and serve the interests of the two countries and their people. His Majesty the King expressed Bahrain's solidarity with Egypt regarding its legitimate right to its share of the waters of the Nile River, which represent a lifeline for the Egyptian people. His Majesty also stressed the Kingdom's support for the American efforts to reach an agreement between Egypt, Sudan and Ethiopia on building and operating the Renaissance Dam, emphasizing that Egypt's security is integral to the Arab national security. His Majesty the King praised Egypt's leading historic role in protecting Arab uh, na national security, preserving Arab interests and unity as well as strengthening the pillars of peace, security and stability across the region. The Egyptian Foreign Minister praised His Majesty's role in efforts to further develop the Bahrain-Egyptian relations, affirming the pride of Egypt's leadership and people for their positions on various Arab and Egyptian issues under His Majesty's leadership. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa held a telephone call with the Director General of the World Health Organization Tedros Adhanom and, and His Royal Highness the Director General reviewed developments regarding the global spread of the coronavirus COVID-19. They also discussed Bahrain's efforts to contain and prevent the spread of the COVID-19 including testing, quarantine, isolation and treatment procedures. The Director General commended Bahrain on the precautionary and preventative efforts it has taken to contain the COVID-19, which contribute to safeguarding the health and safety of the Kingdom's citizens and residents. The Commander of the National Guard, His Highness General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, patronized the military marathon and pistol and rifle shooting contest conclusion ceremony. The Chief of Staff, Major General Sheikh Abdul Aziz bin Saud Al Khalifa, was present. Upon the arrival of the Commander of the National Guard, the band played the National Guard Commander's anthem. Special Operations Unit Head Lieutenant Colonel His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa praised the support that the military sports receives from the National. Guard Commander and the follow-up of National Guard Staff Director Major General Sheikh Abdulaziz bin Saud Al Khalifa. The unit's head noted that this tournament is organized annually and it is among the many sporting activities through which the National Guard is keen to raise the level of fitness and shooting for its affiliates. The National Guard Commander awarded the winners with cups and medals. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa expressed pride in the honorable achievements made by the National Guard's athletes, asserting that the development of military sports will continue and that these achievements reflect their support of His Majesty the King.
The Minister of Education, Majid Naimi, received the winners of the 22nd edition of Hamdan bin Rashid Al Maktoum Award for Educational Excellence in the Schools and Administrations category. The Minister praised the achievement of Khawla School for Girls, Abu Saiba School for Boys, Hajar School for Girls, and Noor School for Girls, and wished all the winners success. He also hailed the ties between Bahrain and the UAE and their cooperation in all fields. He stressed the important role of education in nurturing future generations generations and strengthening educational caters. The meeting was attended by a number of officials from the ministry. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani, received his Egyptian counterpart, the Egyptian Foreign Affairs Minister, Samah Shukri, and his accompanying delegation upon their arrival at Bahrain International Airport. The Foreign Ministry's Undersecretary for Regional and GCC Affairs, Wahid Mbarak Sayyar, Senior Foreign Ministry's officials, Egyptian Ambassador to Bahrain, Yasser Mohammed Shaban, were also present. The Minister of Labor and Social Development and President of the Occupational Health and Safety Council, Jamil Ali Hamaydan, chaired the Council's periodic meeting in the presence of the Council's members. During the meeting, the Council's next work plan was reviewed. The plan includes the launch of an inspection campaign that targets combating infection in 400 establishments during the current month to ensure their compliance with occupational safety and health regulations. The Council also discussed the development of a decision on protecting workers from the dangers of construction work and licensing examiners and the equip or the equipment examining authorities the council also discussed the implementation of precautionary and preventative measures for the protection from the coronavirus in various work locations the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism is carrying out the decision of the public prosecution to sort a large batch of expired foodstuff which has been confiscated in a warehouse in Hamela. An official from the ministry affirmed that the warehouse has been emptied of foodstuff, some which has expired in 2008. Devices that were used to erase the expiry date from productions and stickers with new expiry dates that were also confiscated from the same location. The official expressed thanks and appreciation to the Ministry of Interior for its efforts to guard the warehouse as well as other relevant parties such as the Ministry of Health, the police of the Northern Government and the citizens who reported the warehouse. Investigations by the public prosecution are ongoing. In light of the evacuating citizens from Iran, the Ministry of Health are working on arranging the return of citizens and the first batch of people have already arrived. The Ministry of Health conducted the medical examinations on 165 people and 77 were transferred to isolation and treatment. The Ministry added that 88 people are completely healthy and were transferred for further observation. It also added that the procedures taken to arrange the return of citizens are approved internationally. The Undersecretary of the Ministry of Health, Dr. Walid al mana highlighted that, that the ministry has initiated yesterday its international COVID-19 repatriation program, the ICRP, evacuating the first group of Bahraini nationals from Iran via a chartered plane. Dr. Walid noted that the ministry has followed comprehensive health guidelines in line with the WHO guidelines to ensure all passengers return to the kingdom as thoroughly tested and do not pose a threat to the community. He further noted that out of the 165 passengers within the first group of the ICRP, 77 passengers had tested positive for COVID-19 with 88 testing negative. Dr. Walid added that the passengers with active COVID-19 have been swiftly transferred for isolation and treatment, whilst the other passengers have been transferred for quarantine for further monitoring. Given the high volume of passengers testing positive for the virus, Dr. Walid underlined that further health measures and guidelines will be added within the ICRP to ensure that the health and safety of citizens and residents within the kingdom remain safeguarded. Furthermore, Dr. Walid emphasized that additional flights to repatriate citizens will be scheduled in a manner which ensures that the kingdom's testing, isolation, quarantine and treatment capacity are maintained in line with the WHO established guidelines. The Ministry of Health announced today the recovery of eight individuals from the coronavirus COVID-19 in the Kingdom of Bahrain. The announcement brings the total number of confirmed recoveries to 30 thus far. The recovered individuals, four of whom are Bahraini females, two Bahraini males and two Saudi females, 
have been discharged from the isolation center after responding positively to medical care provided by the kingdom's specialist medical team in line with measures outlined by the World Health Organization, the WHO. The ministry highlighted that all individuals have undergone extensive medical testing to ensure their full recovery from the virus before being discharged and will continue to be monitored post-discharge. The ministry urged all individuals returning from Italy, South Korea, Egypt or Lebanon in the past two weeks to self-isolate for 14 days, avoid contact with others and schedule their mandatory medical examination by contacting hotline number 444 or visiting the Ministry of Health website.